friendly neighborhood gang ghoul here, today on Nostalgicomicon. We're going to be reviewing something a little bit different. A game for the Nintendo Entertainment System called King of Kings, The Early Years. That's right. This game was put out by a Christian video game company called Wisdom Tree. Now imagine being a child living in the 8-bit era, waking up Christmas morning expecting to find something awesome under your tree like a Mega Man game, but instead when you unwrap the wrapping paper you get King of Kings, the early years. I have such sights to show you. And I guess we're gonna play the wise men first. So let's give that a go. So it looks like you're a wise man on this first game on Camelback. And what do you know, the camel spits, and that's your only attack. Ah, it just turned into religious jeopardy. Good thing I know this one. Oh boy, this game kind of sucks. Seems simple enough so far. Killer Cacti. Ooh, another trivia question. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am blank answering said the Christ of God? Uh, I'm gonna go with Peter. And look, I'm already at the end of this level. Now, before I get any further into this game, perhaps I should check the source for some gaming tips. There are absolutely no game tips in here whatsoever. Well, anyway, on this second game, you're obviously Mary and Joseph on an ass. Yeah. An ass. Oh, that jolly old tune, Go Tell It on the Mountain. Christ, would you go tell it on the mountain so I don't have to hear this song again? You would think being the parents of the Son of God would give you easier passage getting where you need to go, but uh, apparently God's got a vendetta against them. And I'm dead. Father, why have you forsaken me? So we've got one more game. Yeah. So far, this one is the hardest. Look at all that water and all those bees trying to sting you. I wonder if that's in the Bible. Christ! Now, there's a whole handful of Wisdom Tree titles out there for the NES, and uh, I suggest skipping over all of them. The only reason I even have a copy of King of Kings is because, well, the the whole concept's pretty hilarious. Until next time.